Thank you for attending this public information meeting regarding the resurfacing of State Road 50 between Orange Blossom Trail and Shine Avenue. This brief presentation provides a broad overview of issues the Florida Department of Transportation will be addressing during the design phase of this project. The presentation also includes information on the recommended improvements. As you have probably seen, FDOT staff and design team members are here to answer your questions. Team members can be distinguished by their blue name tags. There are also graphics and documents on display for your review. Please feel free to discuss any questions or issues you may have with the design team. Your input is very important to us. The project limits include State Road 50 from US 441 or Orange Blossom Trail east to Shine Avenue. The area from Lake Dot Circle to Orange Avenue is not included in this project as it is associated with the I-4 Ultimate Project. The total distance of this resurfacing includes approximately 1.6 miles. As shown on this map, the section of I-4 Ultimate Project at State Roads 50 is not included within this project and the construction is scheduled to begin in the spring of 2015. We are currently designing the improvements and we will not be finished with the design until September of 2015. The project is funded for construction in fiscal year 2016 and the construction should occur between December 2015 and September 2016. As you can see on these photos, the existing pavement on State Road 50 or Colonial Drive has reached the end of its service life as it was last milled and resurfaced in 2003. The project includes the milling and resurfacing of all lanes on State Road 50, including parking lanes and turn lanes. The limits of the project extend from just east of the Florida Central Railroad to Lake Dot Circle. The section from Lake Dot Circle to Orange Avenue will be reconstructed as part of the I-4 Ultimate Project, and from Orange Avenue, the project extends to Shine Avenue. Additional work to be performed in this project include pedestrian signal head upgrades and sign upgrades at the 10 signalized intersections shown on this map. Additional improvements include an asphalt overlay that will be placed at Mills Avenue to smooth out the existing hump in the roadway. Curb ramps will be reconstructed to meet requirements of the Americans with Disabilities Act or the ADA. Some intersections will have bulb outs constructed as shown on the next slide. Also, some utility poles like the one shown in this picture will need to be relocated. The purpose of a bulb out is to provide sufficient landing area at curb ramps to satisfy ADA requirements. In some areas within the project limits, the proximity to right-of-way lines, buildings, utilities, and drainage structures prevent proper ADA access at curb ramps. These bulb outs will use a portion of the roadway currently occupied by parking lanes to create an ADA compliant curb ramp, as shown on this drawing. Coordination with the City of Orlando and other entities is crucial during the design process. For instance, utility coordination is required since several utility boxes will need to be relocated during construction of the ramps, as shown on this picture. Additionally, coordination with traffic operations is required to ensure continued operation of the system during construction. Public transit is another important part of the coordination effort. We have been coordinating with links to ensure that construction does not interrupt transit services but some bus stops may be relocated in the vicinity during construction. State Route 50 is a very heavily traveled major east-west corridor just north of downtown Orlando. There will be times when a lane needs to be closed to facilitate construction, but lane closures will occur at night. However, the work performed at Mills Avenue will require a continuous lane closure over the course of a few weekends. A detour will be required for traffic eastbound to reconstruct the eastbound lane, and a separate detour will be required for traffic westbound to reconstruct the westbound lane. The temporary traffic control plan will accommodate bicyclists and pedestrians and ensure access to the numerous businesses is maintained at all times during construction. We began the design phase in April of 2014 and we will continue until September of 2015. 60% design plans were completed on November 5th, 2014. This public meeting is being held in February of 2015. 
The 90% design plans will be completed by March 2nd, 2015, and final plans will be completed by September of 2015. The current schedule is for design and construction plans to be completed in September of 2015. We appreciate your attendance at this public meeting. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to talk with members of the design team. If you would like to leave written comments, we have forms available for you. You can leave your written comments with us tonight, email your comments into the design team manager, Alan Rayner, or you can take the form with you and fill it out at your convenience. In order for your comments to be part of the public record, we must receive them by February 19, 2015. For additional information, you can visit the project website at www.cflroads.com. For this project, click on the road drop-down box shown above and choose State Road 50, and then search. Here you will find information specific to this project. This presentation and additional information is stored there. We hope that we have addressed your comments and concerns, but if you have any further questions about this project, feel free to contact Matt Hassan with the Florida Department of Transportation or Alan Rayner, the consultant project manager. Thank you again for your interest in this project and for your attendance at this meeting. Have a good evening.